I'm thrilled to introduce Evaluating AI Agents, built in partnership with Arise AI and taught by John Kahui and Aman Khan. When you're building an AI agent, an important component of the development process is evaluations or evals. Let's say you're building an AI coding agent to analyze data. That's actually a running example we use. Or if you're building an AI research agent or shopping assistant or something. One of the important steps is to find a way to evaluate the performance so you can drive iterations and improve your system systematically. Now, the evals for the end-to-end -end performance of the whole agent, and that's important, but for complex workflows, it's also helpful to have per-component or per-step evals. So for example, did your agent choose the right tool or call the right function, or did it execute the tool correctly? Or if it's generating text or code output, is that output correct? In this short course, you learn about code-based evals in which you write code explicitly to test a certain step, as well as large language model as judge evals in which you prompt an LM to very efficiently come up with ways to evaluate more open-ended outputs. That's right. You'll create a code-based agent that you'll be evaluating throughout the course. The agent will have a set of tools, memory that keeps track of the chat history, and a router that decides which tool to use. You'll visualize the paths taken by your agent to process users' queries and extract from them examples to evaluate your agent. You'll then create tests to evaluate each component of your agent. You'll learn how you can measure the quality or accuracy of the output of each individual tool, evaluate if the router chooses the right tool, and examine if the path taken by your agent involves any unnecessary steps. Finally, you'll use these evaluators to set up experiments and improve your agent design. Having worked on a wide range of AI agents on many different applications, I think getting the evals right is one of the trickiest and also one of the most underappreciated steps of developing agentic workflows. So come learn how to do this well in this course.